Welcome to Bus Driver Life. As many of you know, I am a bus driver. Thanks, Captain Obvious. And you can see me right there. See, that's me. I'm a bus driver. You know who else is a bus driver? This person right here. Yeah, we got James from Motor Coach World. He's a bus driver. How about this person? Double Decker Anton. He's a bus driver. And my good friend from TikTok, Jody, the bus driver. She's a school bus driver in Canada. So yeah, she's a bus driver. And a hilarious bus driver from Philly. His name is Bus Driver Dude. He's on Instagram and TikTok. Check him out. He's a bus driver. Also, this guy right here, Robert De Niro, he's a bus driver. What? So currently, Robert De Niro is not a bus driver. Of course, he's an actor and he's a millionaire. He's a legendary, iconic actor. So if he were to drive buses, it would probably just be for fun, not because he needed the paycheck. He ain't lying. But back in 1993, a movie called A Bronx Tale was released. And I did see that movie. It was a pretty good movie to me. Robert De Niro starred in the movie and he directed the movie. And in that movie, he played a New York bus driver. So many people would assume that Robert De Niro would just put on a bus driver uniform, sit in the seat and film his scenes so that it could look like he was a real bus driver. But actually he went above and beyond that. Robert De Niro actually had to get a class B commercial driver's license with a passenger endorsement to drive the bus. And those are actually things that you have to get to become a transit bus operator in the United States. So in order for Robert De Niro to get his class B and get all the things that he needed to become a transit bus operator so that he can actually drive the buses in the movie, he had to receive training. So they went to Boston, Massachusetts, MBTA, shout out to them, and they turned him down for training for his commercial driver's license, citing that he was not an employee. But NYCTA happily instructed him. So shout out to New York City. They instructed him and he received his commercial driver's license, Class B, with air brakes and passenger endorsements for this movie. And this is all according to IMDB, where you can pretty much find out information about just about every single movie that's been made. So I think that's pretty cool that Robert De Niro actually went through the training that bus drivers have to go through so that he could be certified to actually drive transit buses. So at one point in his life, he could officially say that he was a city bus driver, not just any bus driver, but a bus driver for one of the biggest cities and most popular iconic cities in the world, New York City. And no shade to Boston, Massachusetts for not training him. I get it. There can be a lot of legal and liability issues at play. So that's why they decided not to train him. But shout out to New York City for saying like, yeah, we'll train this actor. We got you. Come on. With all the bus driver shortages going on, I'm surprised they haven't given him a call. Like, hey, man, you want to come in for a few shifts? We'll get you recertified and get you on the road. Seriously though, what do you all think about that? Finding out that Robert De Niro really did train and pass his training to become a public transit bus driver. I wonder how would Robert De Niro feel getting a bus driver paycheck in comparison to his movie star paychecks that he normally gets. That would probably be rough for him, I'm thinking. Yeah.